So I would have to go to Minneapolis for my city to be able to get to everywhere else. You know what I mean? Um, I woke up this morning feeling a little bit like iffy because I didn't have an idea of what I wanted to do for this video. But then I realized we're still in the process of returning, boys. So yesterday was the return to the gym. Today is the return to the boxing gym. I'm not gonna lie though, I am a little bit sore from yesterday. I'm not surprised. The lift yesterday was pretty, pretty solid. I kind of just maxed out on everything, you know what I mean? I wouldn't say maxed out on everything. I know I can lift more than that, but I was pretty close to maxing out on everything. Overall, it was a... It was a good lift. Every time I do chest press, I always pull something. I always pull, or no, whenever I do cable flies, I always pull this right here. Like, whenever, I don't know, it's annoying. First time it happened, I was just like, uh, nope, 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 back up. On the second set, I just, they happened again, and I was like, yeah, nah, let's keep pushing. <laughs> oh, boy, here we go. I can't wait for the night with you. No one like you. I can't wait for <laughs> Da, 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 da. Oh. Making my way downtown, walking fast, this that I'm all about. And I need you, and I miss you. No, I'd walk a thousand miles if I could just. Alright, it's time to pick up my mom now. Let's get it. Special for me. My fault. 6.09 right now. Currently waiting for the last dog to be picked up. Thing is, I woke up a little later than I wanted to. I need to get out of this habit where I turn off the alarm and then I just fall back asleep. I need to get into the habit again of turning off the alarm after I'm awake. I guess it also doesn't help that I was at the gym at 12 a.m. I guess just bad timing, you know what I mean? So I ended up sleeping around like almost three or something. I got a solid nine hours of sleep from it, so. This is a little bit of a uh-oh moment because I'm starting to get back into the habit of watching airplane videos. When I say airplane videos, I'm talking about like airplane experience videos, meaning, no, that's not a problem at all. You, it's all good, we'll see you soon. I love when parents are like very apologetic about being late, even though we close at 6.30. Kind of, it's, it's, it's adorable, it's, I think it's great. She said that she'll get here at 6.25, which is, we're not even closed yet, so it's all good. But either way, when I say airplane videos, I'm talking about like, like literally <laughs> like airplane reviews, you know what I mean? There's a couple channels, uh, Jeb Brooks, Nonstop Dan. Sometimes I watch Nonstop Dan, but sometimes I don't. Uh, Simply Aviation is one of my favorites. I think Simply Aviation is my favorite. It's like a, it's airplane ASMR if you think about it. Airplane ASMR and also airport ASMR. Because my favorite flight videos are like the ones where they show you the airport, they show you like the lounge, they show you like them going into the the plane it's like literally it's like a 30 minute video of just like recording a bunch of random clips my favorite part of it is seeing the food i don't know what it was like back in the day when when airplanes had food from my experience at least airplane food has always been great for me ana airlines is probably the best one i've had uh no qatar could be up there too actually united was okay delta well honestly i think all the american ones are kind of and, but everything else, as I've mentioned, a and Airlines, all Philippine Airlines, how could I forget? All oh, Air Canada's food is pretty good too. Because I don't know if you guys know this, I'm going to go on a bit of a tangent here, but the way airplane food works is that, let's say I'm going to Minneapolis, right? Let's say, because this is a... Oh man, I'm going to go into detail. If you're going on an international flight, most of the time it's going to be like a hub and spoke. I think all of the time it's a hub and spoke model. So the spoke is like, let's say my city and the hub is like big airports, Colorado, LAX, uh, JFK, um, MSP, ORD. Those are the hubs. Those are like the really big like airports. So the closest hub to me is Minneapolis. So I would have to go to Minneapolis for my city to be able to get to everywhere else you know what i mean um sure again all right i got you we have one of the dingus uh his name is dingus but it, his real name is prince but we call him dingus the parents like the name too but we're gonna get a little sidetracked here but monday they dropped dingus off for daycare and then right before we closed uh they called saying hey can he stay the night and we're like okay yesterday they did the same thing and yet <laughs> and today 
five minutes ago, they just did the same thing. So I have to put him in his kennel and get his stuff ready. But either way, let's keep talking about airlines here. So hub and spoke model, right? For me to be able to go to, let's say, Japan or something, I'd have to go to one of the hubs. And the closest one is Minneapolis. So the way airline food works, we're going to segue back into the original topic. Let's say that I'm going to Japan, right? Odds are I'm going to be using the American Airlines, you know, the, the, the United Delta or American. Or I could be using ANA Airlines too or Japan Airlines. If I'm going to Japan from Minneapolis, the food that I'm going to get is Japanese food. Of course, there's going to be options of um, American food as well, but the main cuisine is going to be Japanese food. Same way it goes the other way around. If I'm going from Japan to Minneapolis, I'm going to have American food. And that's why I think Qatar Airways or Airlines, Qatar Airlines and ANA Airlines are the greatest because their food is immaculate. I don't know if you guys have seen a video, but it's in the Project PH series where I, uh, I use Qatar Airways to head to the Philippines and their food is magnifico. So I was just reading my emails, right? I have to do this kind of orientation thing, almost like a boot camp. Well, she did mention something about a boot camp and I, I think I'm gonna be attending that. It's kind of like a full, like, it's like a full class pretty much because there's different sections to it and there's like a little quiz portion, I guess. The funny part is one of the sections is actually a uh, social media influencer and social media handling or whatever, which made me think like this whole thing is probably gonna be the easiest thing imaginable. And I can't imagine it being difficult, especially Especially that little section right there about uh, social media. Like when this whole vlog series takes off and stuff like that and I get like whatever amount of followers or subscribers or whatever, no matter how big I get, I will never really call myself a social media influencer. I think that term has just been bastardized so hard. Please don't label me a social media influencer. I'm gonna have to turn around, man. This traffic is rough. Just for your guys' sake and especially for my sake, I will never call myself a social media influencer, even though I'll probably be labeled as a it once in a while because you know I'm on social media and uh, you know I do YouTube whatever please I'm not a social media influencer maybe that'll be my title I'll just title the video as this I'm not a social media influencer like of course at the moment I, I can't label myself as a social media if I I ain't influencing anyone but when the time comes that I have the credibility I, it's sad that I even say that I have the credibility of being labeled as a social media influencer please for the love of god man i <laughs> call me anything else man call me filmer filmmaker youtuber content creator vlogger whatever everything else all good i got us a little karaoke let's take contact oh man underneath the shantily <clears throat> so baby let's just turn down the lights and close the door but you won't need it I used to do this a lot on TikTok Now I'm doing it for the vlogs, ladies and gentlemen Let's try it Oh, I've been shaking the love it when you go crazy You take all my inhibitions Baby, there's nothing holding me back You take me places that tear up my reputation Manipulate my decisions Baby, there's nothing holding me back And all the good stuff I feel right, I mess up the lyrics, here we go I'm up to deep and watch as I dive in I never meet the ground Come on, look at this dinner. Some leftover oasis. It's my first time using that rice cooker and I thought that I would have to kind of watch it but I guess I didn't have to watch it because it's all good now. W dinner, W dinner. Alrighty, so. That's all was, man. Alright, hold on. So we're gonna be doing kind of like a like a DIY boxing class. Because when I actually go back to like starting classes and stuff, I want to make sure that I have uh, the funds for it because they're probably gonna ask me for the monthly payment and stuff as soon as I get back. So I want to make sure I have that ready. So in the meantime, we're gonna be doing the custom class instead. And that means that I'm pretty much gonna emulate like what we would normally do in a boxing class. And I'm glad that I'm doing it around this time too because you know, uh, I've mentioned this billions of times that I don't like it when it's too busy at the at the gym. So you remind me of what I really am, and I've been wrong, I've been down to the bottom of every bottle. After all these years, you're still by me the days and nights that I was gone. Looking for has been here the whole time. If you can see that. I Said I would call, but I lost all control and I need 
true now I'm a little sore Oh, by the way, I don't know if I showed the clip or I showed part of it for like the little montage thing, but two people came up to me. They were they were asking for extra boxing gloves, which I'm not sure if I could fit any extra ones in here with all the stuff that I have. So probably not. Kind of funny. Boys drained. Your boys, your boys drained. I know I didn't do any lifts, but check the physique out anyway. It doesn't hurt to check it out. Like I said, I'm pretty sore. I went into this training session just really sore. You would never know that I had this physique underneath a underneath. A shirt. I low-key kind of have a sleeper build, I'll say that. It's not like I have the most insane sleeper build, but I do have a sleeper build nonetheless. Come on, man. Just the fantastic meal to end off the night. Got the leftover Oasis from... <laughs> a while ago. Protein smoothie. I realized that the, the oats is actually like, it's not crushed. It's kind of like, it's it's whole. I don't know how that's gonna play into this. Uh, I guess I'll give it a test for you guys in front of the camera just to see if it's any different. All right, definitely, ch definitely chunky. If I don't like it, I'm just gonna give it to the parents and buy a new one, but shouldn't be a problem anyway. All right, y'all be good. Make sure to wash your hands and make sure to check out tomorrow's video. Peace.